right, look at the day today out here. Well, actually, it's the afternoon. It's time to get in and try to figure out what I'm going to do. Do I want to put my kayak in and paddle up around here and fish? Or do you just want to throw my waders on and just walk around? Because basically, the water has come down so much that I think I could walk out there and it would just barely be a, above my knees. And then I could cut across the beach and I could walk down the shoreline in the water with the waders on and see what we could catch. It could be kind of fun. All right, well, I did bring the kayak with me, but I don't know if I just want to use it or not. I might just, I don't know, leave it in the truck and then maybe take it out tomorrow or something. Go somewhere else or see how it goes out here first. The cool net over there. The waders out here. I love these waders. They're my favorite waders so far. And then these boots are cool as can be and they're really lightweight. Super happy with them. All right, well, let's get ready go fishing fire's ice can we be able to get out this far fish on boys and girls fish on it's a decent one too I'm guessing it's probably a bass it's pulling pretty hard don't know what it is can't see it it hasn't rise to the surface yet is that a pike or what is that Whatever it is, it's nice. Ooh, look at that guy. All right, we got, I think, sir, we got ourselves a nice big walleye. Check that out. All right. All right, he's in the net. Okay, over here by the bank. Nice walleye. All right. Hey, there you go. Check it out. We got a nice measurement on this guy. He's 15 and a half inches. So we're going to get him back in the water over here and get him on his way. There he goes. That was fun. Let's catch another one. Well, that was sure fun. Let's see what else we can catch out of here. It seems like something's happened over here. There's a bunch of minnows in that area. Maybe something's just going to go for it. All right. We have a disturbance going on out here in the water, kind of way out that way. Like there might be some minnows moving around out that way. No guarantees on that though. There's a lot of something going on around here. A lot of bugs landing on the water for one thing. Heck of a hatch going on. I think if you just do it here, you just gotta stay steady and just keep working. There's some debris over that way and lots of grass over that way. Not too far off from me on this side is a deep spot, really deep actually. So grassy, deepy, deep spot. Uh, here, maybe we can make it across. Oh, we're starting to go off the edge. Okay, it must be the edge of the beach right there. Really super bad yet, but I see. I probably catch one here because I'm in a up to. Oh, I did too. Almost. Ah, hit something. Hit it. So I'm hit it. Either that or I got grass on it. One of the two. We'll find out here in a second. Oh, no grass. So that could easily have been a fish. All right, we're up to our waist here in chilly water because, oh, I got another fish on right now. This guy hit it hard. All right, we got a big one. All right, whatever this is, is a nice size. This is way bigger than that other one. All right, check out that. Wow, guys, this is a big one. Look at the size of that. That's a big smallie right there. See if I can get my net off. I can figure out where it went. Uh-oh, my net's down here on my side and I can't get it. Get off there, net. Oh, no, it won't come apart from the magnets. Oh no, we're gonna get this guy. Holy Toledo guys. Woo, look at the size of that smallmouth. Wow, he's huge. All right, we're gonna, whoa, calm down, Junior. All right, we'll keep him in the water here. He's stuck in there pretty good. He's not getting free. All right, well, check it out. He's not the biggest one I've ever caught, but for sure, he's a nice one. He's, uh, he's, he's 17 and a half inches. Beautiful fish, look at him. He doesn't have a lot, he's not really super chunky, so I don't think he's been eating very much, but he's doing pretty good otherwise. Look at them, beautiful fish, guys. Look at this, look at that beautiful, beautiful bass. All right, we're gonna get him back in the water here. Later, dude. All right, well, there's probably a droplet of water on the lens and that was okay, because that was a nice fish. It's not the biggest one I've ever caught, but he's still a nice fish, nevertheless. All right, let's get over this way, see what else we can do. That was pretty fun. That means they're in here and they're moving around right now. 
just getting on one that's the fun part there we go it's off there yay saved all right this wind is becoming a pain because it's really blowing the the lure right back into the bank and it's so hard to get a good cast off out over here right now it's just casting right now it's gonna be a little tough due to that that wind especially along this bank all right let's move over this way see now look it's like the wind there's no wind whatsoever and now there's a chop look at the chop out there there's a chop all right i like chops so chops are good especially barbecue sauce so here we go we're going to switch out from that little perch and we're going to put on this one here it's uh silver and black it's got some really cool little sparkles on the side on both of it and black on top silver belly with a little bit of red up there by the top it's a Kinichu minnow or something like that i'm not really 100 sure how you pronounce it i looked at it and it's like i'm thinking okay i don't know i'm not good at pronunciation sometimes it's stiff but this is what it's called right there let's go see if we can catch a couple more on this minnow because they're pretty cool so far right let's get moving here and try this guy out i think it'll work out pretty good this other one swam great the fish really seemed to like it we kind of took a break for a little while had a little dinner and now we're back in the water again so there's these fish around here they just kind of had a break for us and for one another for two here we're throwing a different lure that we weren't throwing before so maybe these fish out here will be less wise to my disguise fish are biting everybody's heading in that direction i suppose all right there's a point here hopefully now if we catch one here they don't get wound up and some of this stuff because there's a lot of brush around this spot right here a lot of big rocks so they could twist around get caught in right now it's like the fish just quit it's just the most oh i got one right here in front of me what the heck is this that's a big swirl guys check this one out i don't know if you guys can see that whoa look at him go well, he's fighting hard. He followed it right to me. Look at the size of that smallie. Smallie tamale. Look at the size of that fish. All right. And I got him in the net, too. He's he's not going anywhere. Wow. He followed it right to my feet. That was crazy. There you go. There's the bait he was going after right there. He just came right to my feet. He didn't hit it until right. It was probably like a foot in front of me. It was pretty explosive and pretty wild, you know, and pretty unexpected. But check it out, look at the size of that smallie. All right, nice size one right there. See you later, dude. Tree, the trap, oh, he got out and he made it. All right, whew, that was fun. Let's do that again. Maybe that isn't a turtle over there. Maybe that's a log. Yeah, because now I'm pulling it back. That's a log, I think. Yeah, I'm pulling back a stick. I got a stick. All right, check it out. He's fighting hard. Oh, geez, he's a big one. All right, yeah, got my stick of the day right there. I don't wanna, man, this guy's all slimy too, I bet you. All right, well, come here, stick. Quit fighting. You'll be free in a second. All right, stick of the day. Later, stick of the day. Go and grow, go and grow. It is getting chilly. All right, let's try going that way. I tried pulling it across those rocks. Even though we were just over there casting a lure about a few seconds ago. Well, oh, got a fish on, doesn't matter. We still caught one. All right, we got one. It smells, it, it smells, feels like a bass. Oh no, check it out. What is that? It's a white bass. All right, I can't believe I actually caught one. That's what I was fishing for the whole time I've been here. And look what I caught, I actually caught a white bass all right that's what i was looking for there's the target species right there all right my buddy told me they're in here big old white bass i could take this guy home but i'm gonna let him go but that's what i've been my target fish has been this whole time i'm catching everything else but no white bass all right we're gonna get this guy over here to the bank i can't show you what i got this is awesome all right there you go this is what i've been targeting the whole time i've been here and i've had no luck i've had what a walleye and two smallmouth so far but this is what i've been targeting check it out 
nice little white bass I am not I, I, since I didn't catch a whole bunch of them I'm not gonna keep this guy I'm just gonna let him go he's you know what's the point this guy isn't even a, isn't really much dinner anyways check it out yeah nice fish all right we're gonna get him over here let him go nope 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 there he goes he swam off took him a minute I had to turn around and since I turned around he just shot off all right well that's why we came here all right that made the whole day complete Fish on, boys and girls. Fish on again. Hopefully it's another white bass, but I don't think it is because the way it's pulling. Yeah, that's like a smallmouth right there. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, is that another white bass? It is. Look at the side. Nope, nope. This is a... What is this? That's, it can't be. Nope, that's a smallmouth. No, what the heck is it? Yep, that's a smallmouth. What the heck, dudes? Look at the size of this guy. All right, well, we'll get the net on this dude. Hold tight, dude. We'll have you free in about two seconds. All right, look at that. There's a giant white bass. That's massive, dude. Look at the size of this white bass. This guy is a tank. There's a little smallmouth there. There's a, there's a gigantic white bass. This is why I came to the St. Croix. I came down here. This is the reason why I came down here. Just for this reason and this reason only. This dude is gigantic. I don't even know what the weight of this guy is going to be. Or this, I mean, they're the size, but we're gonna check out here before I let him go. All right, check it out. Here we go. This is another one. We got a second white bass of the day. This was the target species we came here for. The other ones were just, you know, collateral damage as we were here. But check this out. Look at the size of this guy. He's huge. Look at the size of that white bass. That is a nice big fat one. Look at his the mouth on it. That is a nice, nice fish. Sorry about the wind, but check that out. That is a beautiful white bass. We're gonna get it back in the water here. Good luck, dude. There he goes, off and gone. Wow, that was massively awesome. Woohoo! Wow, that was like the biggest white bass I've caught in a very long time. Sorry about the wind. It's getting really bad out here. I had to kind of kneel down over here behind the truck real fast. That's why I came out here for. I was told there was some big white bass that were swimming around out here. And all I came out here and caught today was this smallmouth and then the walleye. I think that was a walleye. I'm pretty sure. Little specks on all of its tail. I don't know. A walleye sauger. But I think for sure. I'll have to look at it when I get home. Anyways, um, that was really, really cool. And that white bass I just caught. Fat one. Anyways, we're going to get back out there and see if we can catch another one. Five minutes later. Fish on guys and gals, fish on again. I was getting ready to leave and something else hit it. What did I get this time? I got another white bass. All right, I don't even hit my net with me, so I'm kind of in trouble. I left it back up in the truck apparently. All right, check it out, look at that little bitty white bass. All right, they're here and I gotta go home. Ah, uh, all right, well, hold on a second here. Hey, my pole, oh, they got this all messed up here. All right, well, Junior, you're going to make it be going home. You're just fine. I'll get it out of your jaw right here. You guys just like they love these lures. I'm telling you right now, these lures are the bomb. I like them and that's all that matters. All right, well, I should have just like totally have used the other hemostat, but apparently I left it in the truck. All right, there we go. Little bitty white bass. But hey, still a nice fish. There you go, dude. Have a good day talk to you later. Wow. All right. That's a good way to end the day. Uh -oh.